episode of Fortress Craft Evolved. Now, just before we start, you will notice at the top of the screen in the top left hand corner, you've got the um, highest donators going across the screen. In the middle of the screen, you have some screen information about the channel, and in the top right hand corner, you have a list of the um, followers that are currently following the channel um, this is just under test conditions I want to see how it goes I want to see if the text is right um, and just to see how things are going to go um, top right hand corner may change that may go to um, a donation and if you want a shout out you just drop me a donation or whatever and then for the whole of that episode you will get your shout out your shout out will be to your channel or to your website or to whatever you decide okay and then people can see in that uh, top right hand corner but again I'm not too sure about that I might uh, might leave it as it is I don't know now what are we doing okay we are currently uh, messing around with OBS so you will ch see changes coming over the next few episodes I have hopefully got it all fixed now um, I'm not too sure but um, yeah in this we I came on earlier and read the um, forums these little guys yeah now we don't know if they attack yet or anything like that we do know that um, you can shoot them okay and they will drop all yeah and what will sometimes I don't know if the update has been done so I may be wrong in this is that when you shoot them yeah right the accuracy isn't quite right but we're gonna not shoot anymore um, but sometimes you'll see a green ghost kind of effect appear um, so we don't know what's going to be happening there okay so they may or may not be green ghost appearing everywhere uh, we'll just have to see how we're how we're doing now we were building the uh, map this the map the lab sorry so we are going to be doing a lot of um, what is it um, copper mining today we have got um, our bits and pieces going in here hopefully everything is going okay on here and we have um, lots of bits and pieces here and yeah we need uh, these uh, these are very important to us so we're actually going to put those on the bar there when they go down and I believe we need seven to one PCB laboratory components uh, no we need five uh, for each laboratory component so this is actually going to take us um, a while to do but you know we'll do other bits and pieces in between and um, let's uh, let's put this on there as well because we need to know about those and we need to know about those and basically we can just now put those in there like that and they will go and make themselves uh, we do need to get coal onto um, the power line set up today this is what I mean look by the green blob bit there yeah right 
if you get too many of those you can either go all the way down to the um, iron level stuff like that or you can um, just not shoot these these don't do anything to you yet they don't take health or anything um, they just wander around they're quite close cute now apparently also if we go down to the iron level um, they will disappear but at the moment oh, I'm not really fussed about it uh, but so before we get doing the uh, copper I'm going to um, let's I've just got missing from this uh, Okay, so um, yeah, so we've got lithium here, okay, and again, uh, we did have the mass rate, we did get it going, um, but again, we didn't quite uh, have everything in place to continuously have it ready. We still haven't, so um, what are we going to do? One, two, we need two more white blocks. Again, all of this uh, needs to go underneath the ground and be sorted out. Uh, white, white canvas blocks, quite easy to make. Okay, uh, that's all. That's all it is. And the reason I'm doing this is because so I know what goes where and uh, what not. Okay, so we've got uh, one, one, two. So we want one there, and we want one there. So that will be our uh, white canvas. Okay, and we're gonna need to pick a color for this. So you go N for your uh, color going, then right click on it now. Um, not percent sure what we're gonna do so we're gonna we're gonna go pink okay uh, that's for the um, what's the name room okay um, so we can do that now don't forget it's still not been done yet scan it you know scan the block um, so we also need to extend the room because again we we still it's still in its early building stage and we need to say right okay um, we want to know how far uh, things go and I've got an idea for um, doing this and you can see that we are now actually out in the open is that coal is going to be down there it's going to be extend, extended down there it's going to be up and down tower now we did want a cheap auto excavator that goes down but unfortunately from what I read on the forums at the moment and I say only at the moment because we're not we're not too sure DJ might change his mind if we can persuade him to change his mind um, currently we are um, doing um, the quarry is the only one that digs down uh, currently at the moment okay uh, which is a bit unfortunate because we've got the auto excavator that builds up that uh, quarries up which uh, can be a little bit tiresome I suppose but Uh, 
and uh, let's see um, so that's has that been has that got a collar right so what have we got what have we got here we got tin iron um, furnace No, tin, copper, furnace, iron. Right, so we need to go N and M. And I needed a silver colour. I can't remember how I did the silver colour. Just about halfway. And again, don't forget to scan it. All right, okay, so you can only scan it reasonably that colour once. Um, so okay so that's a little bit of um, not that's that's not that's not too bad I suppose um, okay so that's power and uh, this one is the lab yeah and the last one the very last one um, will be our macerator um, I know that we built it and stuff like that um, but we're not gonna we're not gonna worry about it too much because um, we're gonna wait until we've got the quarry for, oh, for fuck's sake you know sometimes the, the, I just cannot fucking play this game sometimes because it's just so I mean these are on simple graphics and I'm lagging fucking hell Oh, and I know it's my bloody PC. It really pisses me off some days. Yeah, we're gonna wait until. Um... Look, why the fuck did I want it to go up there? knows how far that's gone up hopefully it ain't gone up too, too flipping far Okay, so we'll try again. So yeah, that is um, if I change these and put them to red, that could be the the power source, and that's the lab power source. So that gives me um, a bit going there. I don't, I don't know if I've got any more um, bits and pieces. No. Right, so what we need to have a quick look at is getting this iron on um, correctly. So, 
we know that all the power is done we need power to that other generator let's have a look see where we are okay okay so we've got a new sound effect there so this is where we want we need to go over there okay so we're gonna go and not do it there because that's in the wrong place right so it's how is it it's uh right so it's hopper I've got a hopper yeah I've got a hopper hopper generator battery dig down so we're gonna dig down um, how many depths is it one two three four yeah so this should be about right okay this just gives me a little bit of room to uh, mess around with and when you're connecting power supplies and stuff like that this unfortunately is one of the things that you're gonna have to get used to is um, dip in now I've got something over here uh, yeah oh yeah that's my coal line Duh. right so we're now gonna be hopefully in the right place here and we're not we need to be over here Okay, so there's a power cube. Okay, so we need to be able to. We're not too worried about getting into into here uh, as much because we know. Um, We know where we're kind of going on on here, so we don't need to uh, have it three three high. Well, I will just take out uh, this wall here. Because all we're going to be doing here is um, just putting a couple of lasers so it gets up there. I might put a cube down here because I always like to have mine linked by cubes okay so you can see that we've got that one directed and we do need to get that one up and running um, because that one really is important before we carry on with um, with, with the lab so we're going to go over there okay guys I'm just going to stop it here uh, I'm going to set down to uh, fast so I'll be back in a couple of seconds so don't worry about the black screen there you go see so we're we're back okay and of course don't forget to uh, back up your um, worlds as well okay So, so you can see now that that green slime has gone okay that's just an error hopefully DJ can uh, fix that 
So what we're looking to do is we're looking to have um, power storage, which again we, we, we need copper, uh, we need lasers, so we need one. Two. So that's one down, one across, one facing that way, and one up. So we've got three going there. Quite a bit expensive to uh, get that done, but it's just it's just one of those things. Now I don't know what happened here. Oh no, there, I was doing that, dog. Now, I feel like bloody Homer Simpson today because I am just really, really not with it. It's just, oh my god, what are you doing? Slap your face and wake up kind of day. You know? need one more there just to go and then that will give us our uh, constant power for uh, that location see the reason we need to do this is because this battery is just meant to be for the um, cooker and yet it's doing um, down here as well right so what do we need for uh, this so we need a PTG and we need a cube uh, we, well we've got a PTG I'm just wondering if we've got a cube. We've we got a cube. No, we only got that one cube. So I'm going to take that and that off. Okay. Um, at the moment, and we're going to go. In. Like I say, get this done. Get this sorted. Okay, so this is the uh, PTG here. Okay, so that will start charging. So now we just need to make a cube and uh, another laser. Right, let's see what we got. Right, so we need uh, two lithium. Uh, I think we need lithium for the power block as well. So we need two lithium for that. Are you staying, still saying that you're not fully charged yet? Okay. He's, he's in the power room. Make sure he's fully charged because then we can use a full battery. Right, okay, so he's fully charged. So we're going to go down and get... Um, Lithium now. Lithium is all always um, the longest one to uh, get down to. Uh, 
um, we should be able to now um, yeah we've got lithium on here look see we are make we are producing lithium so we can kind of go in if <laughs> we get around all of these look get uh, lithium uh, power supply if we wanted to never seen one of these before so we're actually going to um, uh, what are we V shoot him see what he gives us oh he gives us quite a bit of loot though Okay, we don't need to uh, do this in, um, we've got 100 of it, but we're going to do it anyway. Okay, so that's uh, our lithium collected. And now we're just going to go and um, we're going to go and get some iron. I'm not sure how much iron we need. This is why I liked uh, this one because I left the blue one on. Yeah, hypothermia, yeah, okay, we're not really worried about hypothermia at the moment. So we got about 400 there, that would do us. So we're going to get the lithium in first because we only need four of those. And then we need to uh, put some uh, copper in and uh, some iron. And 
that and because I've got the upgraded header um, on this um, it, it's not so um, it's not so slow right so we're gonna not ignore the copper there oh well we can't because it's what's the name in right okay so we're gonna put the iron in so we know we got uh, two lit uh, four lithium now Okay, so we've got the uh, lithium. I'm just going to quickly make um, some conveyor belts because I, I don't kind of like walk, jumping over these belts all the time. Um, they, they, they just kind of um, annoy me. get this level underneath um, sorted out uh, properly can um, have a look in reasonably decent like I said I, I don't like keep jumping over stuff when when, when I need to get get to it yeah <coughs> Right, so what were we doing? Um, whereabouts are done? Yeah, we will need access to that uh, lower level, and I'll probably put it in here actually, to be honest, um, or or down here just so we can clear it out and get underneath, just somewhere where I know I can get. Um, access to everything underneath here and we can bury bury all of these so we don't have to keep jumping over things um, you can put it one below and uh, stuff like that or you can make uh, where is it a uh, space window but you need uh, iron plates for that so we can't do that, that quite yet um, but uh, you can do a wooden window but you need wooden planks and we ain't got no wooden planks because I used them all right gun still follow us around um, I believe we put in some iron bars didn't we? we're going to put in some more so 
there we go. We got we got that crafted. Um, copper bars there. So we're going to be going. Um, To this one now. This, I know this is where where we're going, and of course you get you get all these slimes. So we don't know whether or not these slimes are going to um, attack or drain power from here. Um, so yeah, you know we have to um, wait and see what happens there, but. They're coming in to every little bit that is open. So again, we're just going to lock that off. So we now need uh, a power cube, and we need some. Um, some conveyor belts. That will go into here, and we also need. Uh, to finish that one off like I said that's for the lab and the lab will face that way um, not too sh too uh, sure where the lab is going to go but it again it needs a separate power supply So we need to see what we've got here. Power block. Okay, so we're still out of copper. We, we, we're going to put in some more iron. No, we're not. Right, so we're going to go and uh, do a uh, bit of copper mining. off home you know if you need energy just go home go to your charging thing that's what you're supposed to be able to do I'm sorry but I can't send you home can I So you can see how much quicker it is with uh, the uh, mining battery for us and uh, stuff like that. We just need another PTG down there for when uh, we want uh, a lot of copper.
so we'll just add copper just like that See, there's our power storage block. And now that will start giving us uh, um, energy to um, our cube. Because I, I need to put get one of those uh, what's the name thing is one of the turntables. Yeah, look, they do lose the graphics for some unknown reason when they're on simple mode. Not sure why they do that, but they do do that. Okay. So that will now start going into um, our bit there, and that will start charging up. See, just like that, yeah. And that means now that our uh, lab, you see, this this might be the the level where I have access to um, all of my. Um, bits and pieces because I've, I've already got access to it because this one I don't mind jumping over because this one will be where we get um, like I said all, all access to um, access to our to our uh, bits and pieces so what this will have to do is um, we'll just clear this a little bit out very delicately because we don't want to take any of the, the, the lines out okay so we can say right okay so this is where all the main bits and pieces are going to come and then we can we can um, have it quite nice it Access. I mean, we don't need to go up that high. This can come down. Um, you know, so we can take that all, all off there like that. Okay, so this is where. Um, we're going to start just having things a little bit more organized so we're going to have to run a column um, where is it here 
okay and then we can put in our uh, conveyor belts like um, like so So there we go, we've got access to wherever we want to go now. Um, so that means all, all our bits and pieces here, we know that's the furnace line because we can just go and track it and follow it. And if you're not too sure, underneath you can press K and you can see where you're going so all the coal line and everything can come underneath here if we wanted to um, and really technically you only need to go three deep which I am three deep on there but if you look at this one on four deep um, but then again you know that's just preference it's not going to really make much difference of one layer so we've got that going now we do need access to uh, that line so again I'm just going to use this as a crossroads I know it's going to be around about here somewhere because you can use k look you've got that there yeah now this would be the one that I would um, reorganize because um, I would want it to be on the right level so if we, we go past it and I think we are there okay so you can see that that laser is down um, too low okay so again we, we're just gonna block it so and we'll just get rid of all of this As you can see, it also helps because um, we can find uh, more coal.
and there you go it's all working nice and perfectly if we drain that well there we can drain it well we did a little bit so you can see it flashes and working so that's uh, that one on um, that's the cooker one on and yeah we can just like I said mate things nice we can do this for all of it you know we don't have to get off every single bit just where they go just so we have access So, yeah, yep, 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 yep. So that's all done. I need to get this back on. Right, so, no point doing that until we got it. Um, so, basically, what do we do now? We want a PTG. So we can start getting on the old um, coal, uh, not coal, sorry, the old copper. Okay. And like I said, this is your the setup that you're going for, okay? Which is a 150, 1,500, two PTGs and a hopper. That that is ideally what you would like, okay? Because that that just means you can just blast out um, anything that you find. Now I think I worked out that we needed about 500 units um, of, co of uh, 
proper to build the basic um, basic lab. We're just going to bust 500 and see if I'm actually right. Probably I'm not right. Probably need a lot more. To run about, worry about running low, mate. You do. Right, so we got about 500 there. So I think we needed 21 uh, PCBs. What is it? Uh, three six nine per layer, nine eighteen. Twenty seven PCBs. That's what we need. Twenty seven PCBs. Once we got twenty seven PCBs, uh, it it won't uh, matter too much to us because you know we've got um, all the bits and pieces that we require to make the next um, bit you know the the the, um, the lab underneath as well that's 
slime room. So these little buggers are all over the place um, at the moment, but they're like wasps. Ten there. Um, is that going to be twenty-seven for us? That's twelve. Okay, so we need we need a few more. Don't know why we got copper ore going in there for. Oh, I must have put in copper ore instead of copper bars. Yeah, must have. So we'll put in copper bars this time. And we'll clear all this out. This is the nice thing about it. If you if you screw up, it, it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm running low on energy. Two copper plates. Just quickly put those there. And of course, when you know that a cube is blocked, is uh, locked into the uh, your uh, power plant. Okay, it doesn't really matter if you take some energy from it because um, you've got what is required. So we've got 17 there, so we need, uh, what, what was it, 9, 18, so we need 10 more in there, then when we've got 10 more in there, we, we're, uh, okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just block off this one, and the easy way to block off, just turn it so it's the wrong way, so it won't go there. We've got another seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. We'll just take one more. gives us 11 right now we're gonna be now putting these in here yeah and that should so you've got the odd one there yeah so I knew it was gonna be doing that there and then obviously you can see it goes into wire goes into a coil goes into a, a PCB okay and that's what we're waiting for PCBs that gives us our 27 and now we can put uh, this one back on onto route and it, it will go off and this machine as you know will make a play and that's the basic setup you need to uh, get get your lab going and now all we need now is just to carry on making it and um, just just carry on mining the copper until we we, we get the um, the materials that uh, are required and this is going to be the longest one that's uh, it's going to do so uh, do remember that okay 
getting the lab is the longest bit what I would say is the first part of the game will be like getting your basic first level ores in yeah okay that will be your first level and getting power to them like what we've made the power plant and stuff like that that that's your level that's your your early game once you've got that and you've got your early game then building the lab and getting the lab powered is kind of like mid mid level at the moment and then getting the quarry and um, getting lots of material coming in that's towards the end of the game that DJ has currently made at the moment obviously um, I think he's making rockets and stuff stuff like that and space stations so we're not too sure where we're going to be going and uh, stuff like that so yeah you know it's going to be kind of quite interesting it would be nice if we can have other dimensions where they've got bits and pieces that don't exist on on this so the only way to get them and build them uh, to get really really nice fancy machinery like tesseracts and super builds would be to go to these other other dimensions but obviously have harder mobs in and say right you, you ain't going here until you've got a full a full toxic suit or a full water suit because you could have it so you could you know only get it in in the swimming dimension or something uh, there's lots of things that we could we could do it all depends whether or not uh, DJ can actually do it program it or even want to program it because I, I don't know what his end game is yet I don't know if we just get to rocket build a space station and bang we, we go we go off you know but the the thing now is that we need six in here this is uh, got the six so you can see because we now got the constant power yeah um, because this has got constant power it doesn't take so long for this I mean, it's about 15 seconds or something like that I mean you ain't gonna get um, a lot of power transfer if if we had uh, say what is it we're, we're doing 0.2 percent transfer at the moment um, that's because that that's just full but the maximum transfer per second is 16 on this um, but this is just done you know it's already looking for plates so you can see that we've now got three um, so we can fill that uh, do our first one um, when we've got five so that's going to be where, where do we decide to do it um, <laughs> but currently yeah I'm just using all the copper that we can get to um, put in so we're going to be doing a lot of uh, copper mining to build this lab there's really no point in doing anything else if you're going to uh, want to get the, uh, the lab up and running because our, our next drill head needs to be done uh, with the lab we, we can't do anything more with it we could start clearing um, a mine shaft down with the auto uh, auto uh, excavator I mean there's, there's that we could do
Again, the nice thing about these little uh, little slimes, yeah, if you get bored, you can shoot them. That's what should happen. They should just do that. Look. That's obviously a bug. That's a good bug. Cause he hasn't, uh, he hasn't gone. The DJ needs to see this, so we're just going to show him that. That because it's gone like that, we're getting unlimited amounts. so we can start building our first cube so what I'm going to do is just say right okay I'm going to want the uh, lab this is our ore let's, let's take our lab off to um, shall, we, shall we take it off, off here what's that look about central yeah let's take our lab off here okay so we'll have our lab room here and I know this one's got to be full uh, full high okay um, 
might automate it, might not automate it, don't know. Right, now as because this is just a, a lab room, um, so it's one, two, three, let's, uh, that's one, two, three, so that is, that is how big the lab is, okay, it's by that there, and then, um, I'm going to want to take this off. Yeah, so the lab, unfortunately, is not a five minute job and it does restrict you in a way of how quick you can you can um, do the game but to be honest it's um, see this is what you get yeah these and um, even though the effects look nice yeah kind of irritating right but again, like I said, we, we just have to wait until it's fixed. There's, there's nothing that you can do about it. You, it's just a part of an alpha game process. This is what you sign up for when, you, when you're on the testing mode. And obviously live testing like this does help DJ out. So any errors you do or see, pictures, Twitter, everything. But like I said, if, if you get annoyed because you get quite a lot of them, just re-log out. It, it doesn't take two minutes to uh, log the game out and in. Right, like I said, this is your um, lab. Okay, so we're going to be having power coming underneath here. I'm not going to have any power coming under um, there like that. And this is for height, this lab is for is for is um need is a three by three by three, but you're gonna need for for a headroom so it looks nice. Um, you're gonna need a um, a headroom of uh, four So we need to put that back there. And again, if I was going to automate it, I'd automate it so it's all underneath. Okay, so that's our lab room. Yeah, that's where our lab's going to be. Uh, looks quite nice, looks quite cool. And... Uh, yeah, when you see it, it'd be, it'd be quite nice to do. Right, so we're going to need some more in here. Um, so we're going to put more copper in there. Definitely, definitely have miscalculated um, this. It must have been 500 bars. So the next thing that we need to um, do is once we've got it functional, we're going to want to um, get power to it. Now the power, we should, to be honest, oh, I can't remember the depth of it. Let's go and have a look at the depth um, of it. Our power room. So our power room depth <coughs> access is six meters. 
Okay, six metres. Seven meters. There we go. And again, you're going to want to so have access to the bottom here. You're going to want to um, again just clear clear all this out. Like you got a double room, so the easiest way that we're going to do that for the double room is we're just going to dig back up there, like so. Okay, and then all we're just going to do is we can put the floor back in quite easily. I don't know why I did that because I want it all taken out anyway. Now you only need one lab unless you have enough material coming in of course and you want to build uh, a second lab but I'm only ever going to build one lab I don't think at this point in the game that I'm going to want to uh, build uh, two labs but you can build as many labs as you want you know it's it's not limited to one what I would say it would be limited to uh, would be um, the amount of ore and bars you can get in and the amount of um, what is it um, power you can you can uh, uh, do to, to uh, sustain it and like I said it is extremely power hungry Okay, so there's there's your room um, to to uh, get everything. So we're just going to see where our power supply is. Now our power supply for the lab is over there. Okay, so we've got nothing at the moment to uh, give us any indication of what goes where. Okay, so we're just going to dig out this way. And I'm just going to try to line up with the power line on mine, which I think is about there. Now, obviously, you can cross over. Um, okay, so that's the wrong one. 
um, so I'm just wondering if it's the other power line so that's no good to us there because that will um, just get us all confused and and stuff like that so we probably haven't got it set yet so we'll leave this there because I know it's coming out over here somewhere okay so we're now going to be going back up here yeah and we're just going to be uh, filling these like that now what I've noticed with super dig is this yeah it will replace blocks that you've already got got uh, done so do be careful with that yeah not sure why it does that but it just does okay so there we do that's our uh, that's our hopper room our lab room sorry right so again we're just going to put some in we've got some tin burning there So again we'll just put that in. I mean break dancing that I love I love these little call effects that he's put on. Oh we didn't go and collect them. sure if we've got our uh, bits and pieces yet right we do have now five okay so we can show you the start of the lab okay so the start of the lab um, do, 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 do. lab is over here Hi Zeno. And you can see it's five there and one there, yeah. So we craft we craft our lab part and um, we go into our lab room and there's the first lab block. Now you can see that a lovely pink on top, lovely uh, gold and green in uh, the centre and that is going to take us uh, a while to uh, get built like I said you're going to need 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 okay uh, bits and pieces there and so that's 45 So that's 45 times 3 times 5. So you're going to need 670 bars. Uh, okay, and um, 675 bars. Divide that by 6. is 112 because each stack of 100 gives you 6 bars 
So times that by 100, you're going to need 11,250 bits of coal just to make one lab, okay? I'm building a lab for the uh, game Xeno. Um, so yeah, you know, it's 11,000 bits of um, copper. So let's go and see how big our copper bit is here. Okay. This is 1,191k. <laughs> yeah, that's if I've done my maths right. Yeah, and don't forget this is hard mode. But yeah, <laughs> it's an awful lot of copper. So what we're going to do is we're going to start um, seriously mining this. Um, we're going to look, see if we can get another mining head on. But, you know, it's it's all part of the game. We don't want it too easy, do we? I mean, if we have games that are too easy, we lose interest in them. Ah, I'm awake. Good morning, ISO. How are you doing, girl? I take your debit card. Their loss at the end of the day. Their loss at the end of the day, I say. Yeah, but if you're a regular customer in, customer in there, then uh, it should have been accepted. Simple as that. I uh, don't know if you've noticed, but uh, the um, stream has changed. I've been working very hard on uh, OBS this morning. So what I've got in the uh, top left hand corner is uh, people that donate, okay? In the middle, a little bit about the information on the channel and on the top right, we have the people that have, um, that are following.
still can't get um, a coin bot in here to reward you guys that sit and watch and watch the feed and interact. Um, so yeah, not uh, not sure which one to use and stuff like that. So what we're going to do once we've mounted this copper is we're going to make um, another, um, what is it, um, drill head and we're going to go and put that onto our second uh, copper um, bit and we're going to get that going. Might have to make up another um, another power more power on it but uh, yeah right so let's go and uh, get these out so right, so <coughs> we're gonna need another drill head because we need more uh, oil coming in. Okay, and we're now gonna go down uh, and I'm gonna get downstairs. Yeah, I need a basic drill motor, and uh, we need one more iron bar because I want to connect the uh, iron bar to it uh, before we go down. Okay, so we're putting the iron there. Then that gives us another drill head. I don't know what Arthur's saying. Oh, I'm not paying attention to him really. Um, what is it? Yeah, you just said look at you. You were doing a warning. And now you got rid of the flipping warning. You know, what is the point of even looking at you? I've already found iron. Right, so basic draw mark, so that's what we want there. Okay, so we're now going to go and put a second drill head onto our um, copper um, output, which is over here okay now the thing that you've got to remember with um, with with this is you've got to remember the position that we're in now if we put the drill head here we can power it um, like so yeah and what we need to do now is get a cube okay and we need a couple of um, I wonder I wonder I wonder I wonder no we'll take that one off there we still only need one yeah this is just like your uh, dr uh, your your power um, if you was mining yeah this this now does both yeah okay so they're both feeding there both going out there so I've now got a total of eight all per minute because I've got two uh, drill heads two drill heads on if I wanted 
four drill heads yeah I could do the same and just have the power come underneath or the power go on top it, it, it's a little bit more complicated but I can get I can get a third drill on there I could probably even get four drill heads on there um, I want to have a quick look at that to be honest because that that setup um, yeah four, four drills would be really nice on there so put the power cube in the middle there and now let's have a look at our drill heads the one there Uh, no it's not one there, it's one there no think about it, think about it right, drill there drill there so that's hopper there so get rid of that one get rid of that put that there Get rid of that. I can't put that there because I've got the drill drill bit there. And got the laser coming there. So we're gonna have to move this over a little bit. Um let's say there. Drill head shame I can't change that and draw head and hopper take you and you and you away one two three there we go one there one there one there right so now we can put in the drill heads okay now I've got two drill heads and I can fit one another one there probably fit another one there I bit four around there I'm not sure how well these are going to do but they are working, they are doing it, it's only complicated uh, Zeno until I work it out how but that's now doubled my ore production for um, copper um, I'd like a third one here um, then I'd have to dig out that one it's only because of this laser's in the way but this laser won't be here all the time and uh, you know so that's two three four so yeah we could have four four mining lasers going all the time on this um, we are looking a little bit low on transfer on the power at the moment but it is getting there let's uh, bump it up add power there and we can add power there so we can now see where it's going to do it where it's going to stay stable or not takes a while but yeah it, it's getting there it's going to be stable so there you go we've got more copper coming out now
so yeah so that's basically what you can do to increase your um, drill production if you're finding it's taking uh, too long and what we got in here we have got one okay so once this line is filled up here this is the the, the one that's going to going to be the slowest line okay because we only need one PCB to um, like six plates so like I said you're going to need a lot a lot of copper but with, like I said we've now doubled our uh, production we could actually make more um, of it but um, I'm not sure if the power can um, can uh, do it <coughs> so we'll just take that copper copper out or oh, we can't take that copper out bollocks No, too slow again. Right, I want to see now if we've got enough to make another hopper. Uh, no, we need iron because that will then give us our near enough our central line. Right, you get in there. Oh, I've got eight laboratory parts. I thought it was one, so we actually miscalculated on the uh, lab parts. I thought we only got one, uh, but we actually get nine. So that's going to make it much difference. I want to go and check the information on that because that is actually a little bit um, bit deceiving there. No, it does say by nine, so that's good. Um, that's a lot less copper yeah I totally agree I'm so happy about that I was thinking oh my god how long is it going to take me to drill 11,000 units of copper and we actually don't need 11,000 units of copper you need about you, you need a couple of thousand units of copper but not 11 so that is actually quite good now So we should actually now be able to uh, get it finished um, for next episode. Uh, we won't finish this. We won't get it finished this episode, but maybe uh, next episode we we will get it finished. We can get the lab done. But I'm still leaving the uh, double double heads on there. I might actually start doing double heads on all of the um, ore outputs. Because um, it's just so much quicker. It, it doubles our output without having to worry about the drill bit. Basic mining heads, yes, um, do. But the things like the steel cutter head that give you the extra percentage. So say you've got a hundred ore and you put on the steel head, you'll have a hundred and ten percent of that ore. But that steel head will wear out. Okay. When you put the crystal on, it will give you a hundred and thirty percent. So again, that crystal wears that crystal head wears out a lot quicker, 
but it gives you three times the amount okay but your normal draw heads like uh, your basic all the way up to your antimatter they're permanent they're permanent now I'm actually not sure where they should be permanent because drill heads out when you're mining do wear out Now don't forget from Monday uh, we are going to start streaming uh, Guild Wars okay not sure if I'm going to start a brand new character or anything like that because I've got a few of the um, bits and pieces uh, on there for the uh, character um, just depends uh, whether or not I might do it Guild Wars 2, I so Guild Wars 2, and I play a fem I, I play a female character in that. Right, so let's see how many we've got. We've got four. Due to the fact that it's the near the end of the episode, we're going to go and shoot these slimes. And you can see that they break neck dance. I wonder if I was doing it right there. That one there gives me ultimate. Um, I don't know which 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 all it's doing, but I just have to sit here. And that's a definite bug. That is definite definite bug. I'm just going to go and quick, quickly look for slimes in the, in and around our base. This is our copper power plant, our coal power plant that powers everything. Yeah, free all mate for days until he fixes it. And the slime. Right, the translucent green one, yeah, is um, an error. Okay, it's a programming error. Look at our slime pit. Oh, look at these slimes in our slime pit. Yes. Is 
See that silver one? That's um, a rare one. So you can see that you've still got the green breakneck dancing one, you've got errors up over there. Yeah, that that's just a programming error. So um, yeah, we've got to wait until DJ fixes up before we can um, go and um, carry on with it. So it's now time um, to say a goodbye. We will be back a little bit later on um, when we will either go and play an episode of Witcher 3 or we will go and play another episode of Fortress Craft Evolved um, because once I've got my one episode a day out for when I do my streaming then uh, I'm not bothered what I play after that people can vote for it so we'll see you shortly on the bounce when we'll be back in about 10 minutes have fun stay safe and don't go away too far bye for now